Good morning, Colorado. Welcome to Thursday edition of Local Biz Buzz. I'm your host, Larry Hers, and today in studio, I have Bill and Ian from Il Portolino Salume. Hi, Larry. Welcome, gentlemen. Good How's morning. Going? Uh, before we get into this episode, we have, we're doing something different today, and for the whole month, I actually am, I've been sponsored by Grip Places, and so uh, these shows that we've done here, we've done 170 ship episodes of Local Biz Buzz. 270 of what's for lunch we've done for free for all those businesses so now that i have a sponsor we can continue to do these things for free for all these businesses so grip place is a really cool new app and uh i'm gonna read my uh, my pitch <laughs> uh this morning's episode is sponsored by grip places the top app for restaurant visibility in 2021 your business is so much more than a star rating no offense y'all and Grip Places knows, knows that. <laughs> With real-time vibe matching and customer insights, Grip Places helps you get your restaurant, coffee shop, or bar, or saloon in front of your dream customers. Check it out, Grip Places, new app. Find it on the App Store. Done with the business end of things. It's my first right. time doing business. I can't wait to get my first <laughs> Grip Place with you. <laughs> so it's, it's going to be really neat. They'll put a camera in your business, and then people can tell the vibe of your place. That's basically the concept of Grip Places. Uh, who's going to give me a history of Il Porcellino? I can start. So I'm Bill Miner. I'm the president and owner of Il Porcellino Salumi. And this is Ian Nesbed. He's, he's my culinary director and partner at our retail store. Uh, we opened the business nearly six years ago, um, October 2015. I saw a need for locally made charcuterie in Denver and Colorado. There and was nobody doing it back then. Nobody wasn't doing it back yeah. then. And we were the first to be able to sell it in a retail fashion. And where, where did you open your store? So 41st and Tennyson is our retail store in Delicatessen. Um, we have all the plans in place to cure our own meats there. So we source local animals and butcher them and turn them all into all kinds of delicious different types of charcuterie. Which people think, like, can you just do it anywhere? But they're pretty specific about the rules of this. It's, it requires a certain environment. Um, when you ferment salami, it's fermenting at 70 degrees for 48 hours. That's not the ideal temperature to store meat, obviously. It's a little dangerous. And when you dry it, it's about 60 degrees. So we have, it's a whole scientific process, but we have plans set up with uh, Denver County to be able to do this at our retail store there on Tennyson Street, which is where the business started. Um, when we opened, a uh, lot of local praise, best new deli in Denver, top 10 new restaurant, things of that nature. Um, and I saw you were on Diners, Drive-Ins, Dives, right? Yep, we've done Food which, Network. Which is funny because you're the second guest this week. And so it's a natural progression, right? Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. Yeah. Local Biz Buzz. Local yeah. Biz Buzz. I mean, I'm definitely above Guy Fieri. <laughs> we're taking a step that. up today. <laughs> it's not saying a lot. <laughs> and But since then, now you've expanded to Basalt. Well, before that, so okay. we... Um, had the had the or had the capability to make charcuterie and started selling it at the farmers markets along the Front Range, so uh -huh. in Boulder and Denver, and found that our salami was selling incredibly well, and um, we only have a small little curing room at our our shop there, and de decided that we needed to figure out a way to open a wholesale business to really be able to produce more meats. Um, so an opportunity arose to take over an already up and running uh, USDA facility up in Basalt. Which I'm guessing there aren't a lot of those, you know. It's incredibly around. hard to get approved to do what we do with the USDA. Um, and so the fact that it was already approved and we took over the grant of inspection was one easy step. Yeah. Um, so in this building up in Basalt, we started with just 800 square feet. We're making about 400 pounds of salami a week. Um, this was three years ago, and now we've taken over the entire 7,000 square feet and make 4,000 pounds of salami a week. 4,000 pounds a week. And distributed all over the country. And it's still, we can't even come close to meeting the demand for our product. Oh. It's crazy. So what's next? There are plans. <laughs> <laughs> Big plans. Big plans for a much bigger facility. Outside in, of, in state? Outside of Denver. Okay. Yeah. What was the first thing you started curing? Um, gosh, I think the first thing I learned how to make was just like a deli style ham. Um, we call it Berkeley ham at our deli. You still yeah. make it? Yeah. yeah. So it's a, uh, brined and, uh -huh. and smoked ham. Uh, mortadella was one of the first things too. Ian's got crazy sausage experience. Um, that's kind of his wheelhouse. What's, what's your deli. background here? Uh, I've been cooking for the last 15 years, helped set up a couple butcher shops and then found Bill and he led me on the way here to learn all these things fancy little craft here and share it with everybody. 
And what's your uh, your your title? With the I'm the culinary director. Oh, nice. What's your wears many hats? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna pull this over onto the close-up camera because I'm guessing you make all these meats. So we make all the meats. Um, do you want to go through yeah. them over there? We'll just go uh, point. You tell me. Pepperoni, classic pepperoni. Um, we won actually won a Good Food Award for this product in 2019. It's a national award. Um, Copa. <laughs> so we won a Good Food Award for that in 2017, and also won the Charcuterie Masters Grand Championship in New York City in 2020 for this product. Uh, that is finocchiono fennel flavored salami. You can find that at Whole Foods in the Rocky Mountain region. Summer sausage. It's a hickory smoked fermented sausage. Kind of classic Midwest style with our own house made mustard. Uh, Rosette de Leon. It's a French style salami. So we use an apple brandy that's made at Woody Creek Distillery in Basalt. Uh, big fan of using local ingredients in our products. Um, that one won a good food award in 2020. Uh, okay. Duck prosciutto, one of our new, newest products. I'm like, I don't know what this is. Uh, we use antibiotic-free duck for, raised in the Midwest um, from a farm called Culver. It's an amazing duck breast product. I don't usually eat during the show. We but. just launched this literally a month ago. It's mm -hmm. I mean, Ian and I worked on the recipe together. It's one of my favorites mm. already. Yeah. Dude, it's kind of sweet. There's a little <laughs> spi spicy. spice at the end. Um, if you don't even like duck, that is a 10. Oh my god. Uh, Spanish style Lomo, so uh, cured pork loin. It's going to have some paprika and garlic on it. Um, some more of a savory style. Black truffle salami, so real black truffles in there. A little truffle sea salt. Um, you can find that on pizzas in uh, Whole Foods in the Rocky Mountain region. They use a lot of our products on their pizza and sandwich program. Uh, speck, so similar to a prosciutto, but it's got a little smoke flavor to it. <laughs> Josh. <laughs> uh, middle... Uh, Wagyu beef for Sola. <laughs> I put my fingers on it. I see it. I couldn't put it back. I don't know where my fingers have been. Uh, Wagyu beef for Sola. We use Wagyu beef from 7X here in Colorado. Uh, the marbling on that is insane. It's a very lean cut of beef, um, but nice intermuscular marbling. Can you, Josh, can you actually see through it? Because I can kind of see through it. That's yeah. the point is you want to be able to see through it. You want to be able to read the <laughs> newspaper behind it. And then uh, different pickled and fermented vegetables that we make at our at our um, retail store. And I'm guessing this isn't everything either. No, it's just the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> tip of the iceberg. I mean, we, we make 40, 50 different products. Yeah. There's tons of different uh, flavors of sausage we make. We make our own deli meats. Um, you can see, so we just launched a peachwood smoked bacon. Um, that's coming to Whole Foods soon. You can find it in Tony's Markets, um, small little retail stores. Mike carries it at Sodium Gouda. Summer sausage, nice. again, a, a newer product. Um, find that at Whole Foods, obviously at our own re retail wow. store. The duck prosciutto just launched. We have a new line of beer brats that we are co-branded with Breckenridge Brewery. Again, love using local ingredients. Um, so we have two different flavors right now. There's a vanilla porter spice bratwurst and a, a avalanche smoked cheddar beer brat. These what? things are fully cooked. Uh, it's the juiciest bratwurst you'll ever have in your life. The flavor really pops. Um, again, small little local retail stores right now coming to Whole Foods soon. Uh, Let's talk about uh, the animals. The animals is very important to Ian and I. Yes. Um, it's the biggest thing. Um, there's a lot of bad farming practices that go on in the United States. Um, we're proud to work with small family farmers that really care about the animals, how they're raised, what they eat, that they're able to be an actual animal. Um, it's incredibly important these days. Um, you don't want to support factory farming. So we source all heritage breed pigs um, through a co-op of farms in the upper Midwest, uh, Nebraska, Kansas, Missouri, up into Minnesota. Uh, it's called Red Top Farms. Do an amazing job. Um, it's all Berkshire breed pigs, antibiotic free, hormone free, all vegetarian feed. Um, I mean, you're eating beautiful you're, animals. And you eat what they eat. Yep. Yeah, I mean, pigs, you can mate, see happy like, yeah. The pork has nice fat on it, and with charcuterie, you want that fat. Fat equals flavor. Um, <laughs> even when you're, you know, you're making salami, there's a definition of fat in the salami. Yeah. You see on the speck a nice line of fat at the top. On the copa, a nice line of fat on the side. And that fat, as you can see, the meat sitting here in the light, starting to sweat. You want to eat charcuterie at room temperature. It eats best. If you yeah. eat it cold, it's kind of hard, firm. Once it starts to warm up, it really just melts in your mouth. And the point that we get across with our charcuterie boards is we do use these nice pickled and fermented vegetables that we make and kind of that tangy acidity complements the richness and unctuous of the cured meats. 
So they can go to your store, get charcuteries, get sandwiches, get these pickled veggies, all of it. They could also go to Whole Foods and buy a lot of your products. Yeah, Whole uh, Foods carries, they have uh, five of our SKUs in the specialty foods department right now. Um, there's four more coming in September. They feature our products on their pizzas and sandwiches in the prepared food section. Um, we're in all of the stores in the Rocky Mountain region. We're expanding into more regions soon. Um, <laughs> we've been appro approved nationally. It's just a matter wow. of how do we produce enough to be in 480 stores in the country. Well, I, so, something tells me you're planning on it. We're planning on it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're on to something. That's very exciting. <laughs> it is, you know, and it just started with a little store on Tennyson Street. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to open more delis in and around Denver in the coming years. Um, we feel like our deli, our sandwiches are top notch. And uh, there, there's not, I could tell you, we're in the tech center right here. We have nothing. Yeah. There's no place to get a sandwich. It's, it's definitely on the radar. All there's right. a lot of different little neighborhoods in and around Denver that we feel like our concept would be very, very For some very reason, well. guys like you just don't seem to want to come to the burbs <laughs> like you don't think we'll appreciate it in here you know it's always about denver <laughs> for us we do um we feel like our neighborhood in tennyson street is very neighborhoody um, yeah. we like neighborhoods you know like wash park old town arvada um tech center um it's it's better than going into somewhere like um lodo or rhino where it's like restaurant central and you're competing with 50, 70 other restaurants for the business, and I feel like we would stand out, you know, in a smaller neighborhood. Give them uh, your website. Website is elporcholinodenver.com. Um, we have our online store. We can ship our award-winning salami to your door anywhere in the country. Um, part of the problem is not all the flavors are always in stock, but we're working on our production right now to increase and hopefully be very well stocked for the holidays. Um, we do a charcuterie club at we sell it out of the store. I don't know if you want to talk about that, Ian. Yeah, so we always do kind of like a revolving little package. Um, things that we're working on, R&D, stuff like that. We like to feature little items that people haven't had. Okay. So we like to have little slice, slice cured meats, uh, pâtés, rillettes in there. Uh, we like to keep it really fun and interesting. It's kind of some more specialty items that we make really only at our store. Um, charcuterie club is once a month pick up at a store it's 50 bucks a month you get enough charcuterie to have a happy hour with your friends multiple times that month everything's all cryovac and packaged so you know last for a while um, there will be a um, charcuterie club on our website that'll go ship to your door once a month that's coming later this year um, I also do a CSA yeah we do a weekly CSA with local farms uh, we provide meats local vegetables other local products like to feature other local businesses in, in it. It's a weekly pickup. We ask people to pay for four weeks at a time. Uh, that program's going really well right now. Okay. Give them your address again so they can come visit you. It's 4324 West 41st Avenue, which is uh, just east of Tennyson Street in the heart of that little shopping district there, right next to Allegro Coffee. Um, can't miss the red pig on our sign out, out front. Um, Thanks for coming in. Pleasure hey, to meet yeah, you guys. Yeah, That's thanks awesome. for having us, Larry. Appreciate it. We'll see you today at 11.30 for another episode of What's for Lunch. I've already been eating, but let's eat some more. <laughs> I mean, I got, I can eat all this. I'm going to take yeah. down this whole tray by it's, myself. It's for you guys. So.